Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Commenting on Comments. Roll the fucking intro and let's get on with it, bitches. Alright, guys. Welcome back to Commenting on Comments. Oh, got a fart. Alright, let's get on with the comments. First comment here from Redneck Brian says, Your car should have had a backup camera from factory. Bro, it's a 2005. The Juggalo Vlog says, Adams, remember if using Windows 10, not all software is ready for it and a vast virus. Well, aren't you running Magic's Movie Maker 15? Fuck, I don't even think that runs right Windows 8. Uh, Paul Meckling says, When did Canada start putting milk in jug? Thought it only came in friggin' bag. Learn something new, beg my part. Um, Mike's Marts are our corner stores, and we call them Mike's Marts or Max or whatever. Uh, they started carrying them in the jugs, and what's really cool is you can bring the jug back and get 25 cents back. Scores! The Paradox Designs says, This about sums up cameras for me. Canon, great video, lots of options, no USB charge, poor sound quality. Panasonic, good video, white balance is fucked, big times. Sony, can't focus where the shit, white balance however is good, external inputs a bonus. Yeah, but the Canon R600 can charge via USB, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Russell P says, I don't doubt you, but those older caddies did have big time drainage problems with the trunk. Oh, I didn't know that. A buddy has one, and it likes to fill the tailgate light piece in the trunk with water. That can't be good. All kinds of goofy pl plastic trim issues with those things. Yeah, I just I just hacked that up as hashtag GM problems. I can't trust General Motors anymore. Bunk. All their cars, bunk. Mr. Beerad1 says, do you like chocolate milk? Who doesn't like chocolate milk? That shit's the bomb, son. Uh, that's the only kind of milk I drink and it makes cereal taste great. No doubt it makes cereal taste great. It'd be like a friggin' treat and you'd want to have seconds and fifths. Rob's Vlog says, I like the picture of this one more than the other cam you use. And wide angle is always cool to use. Yeah, um, the Canon does have a nice picture. I just don't like the battery life. Like, they fixed it. All the things I bitch about, about the Mini, they fixed with the Mini X, which is the new version of this that came out. You know? USB charging, the Mini X can do it. Plus it has the AC charging and the removable battery that you can plug into another outlet and charge up. The battery problem, like this battery in here is tiny, tiny, tiny. What is this? This is a 790 ma battery, 790 milliamps. Good for about 45 minutes of recording before it shits the bed. Now, the bigger Canon, the Canon Mini X, 1200 milliamps. That's like 410 more. That's almost half the battery that's in there, more. So you can get a good hour and 10 minutes of recording out of the damn thing before it shits the bed. You know, uh, microphone input, Mini X has it. It also has a dial on the sign for micro microphone sensitivity so you can like tune it up or bring it down on the fly. Freaking cool features. That's why I was considering getting that thing for vlogging. Uh, Daddy Tech N says, how did you get formaldehyde from liquid or gear that doesn't contain it to begin with? It doesn't happen. Well, a lot of weird shit happens in combustion, apparently, and it causes this to occur. Uh, that's the reason why. But, when we are vaping at proper temperatures, we're not combusting, we're vaporizing, you know? Except for I haven't vaped in over an hour, and my throat's not used to it yet. Like, that's literally just water vapor. If you run your head into it, it feels cool. Like, it's just water vapor, it's not smoke. If there was smoke, then you'd have combustion, and you would know because when you combust a coil, it tastes like fart, and you can't get that taste out of your mouth for three frickin' days, and what's going on with my hand? WTBM123 says, they probably tested that way to make sure they got the results they wanted, or was paid to. And that's the thing. That's what they were doing. They were basically testing the product to find ways to make it unsafe so they'd have something to write about in a paper, to put it out there, to cause problems with regulations and all that. That's all they were doing. You know, we could do the same thing with vehicles. We can, like, that's like uh, the Dodge Ram got deemed the most dangerous car in America. Did you also realize the Dodge Ram is the most purchased vehicle in in uh, America? Maybe that's why it's dangerous, because the, more the, more, the more of them there are out there, the more chances those things are going to get wrecked. Doesn't mean they're dangerous, just means a lot of people who can't fucking drive bought them. ZX841ZTV says, bloody idiots always trying to ruin a good thing. Hey, that's population for ya. Fucking humanity. 2CV Bloke says, when scientists are paid to find flaws in things, they discredit something. 
they'll make sure to find those flaws even though most of the time the flaws do not happen only when something is done wrong and that's the thing like you know they say to get the formaldehyde out of this you have to be vaping propylene glycol and be using the uh, silica wick you have to hit it at super high voltage because you gotta basically combust the wick pretty much you gotta like fucking burn the wick and burn the juice to make it combust to get the formaldehyde to happen and the reaction is a chemical reaction upon combustion which is quite a thing Chris Hol Olmsted says like everything else the government's not making money off it they want to destroy the image of it so people won't buy it that's why I can't stand them and they try to run everything you do probably means ruin everything you do and that's true you know like this has gotten many people off of cigarettes, and some people have gotten off of this and never went back to cigarettes. Pug One, for instance, quit vaping, you can go back to cigarettes. Sure, he smokes a fucking ton of dope in a day, but, you know, he doesn't smoke cigarettes anymore. He's not on tobacco, he's not on nicotine, he's not nicotine dependent. I like vaping, it's fun. You know, zero nicotine, three nicotine. I'm not nicotine reliant, I just love the taste. It's delicious, and... You know, when I'm hanging out with friends who are smoking cigarettes and they want to, we're at the Hortons and they're like, oh, let's go out and have a dart. And I'll be like, whatever. And I can go out and just be like, they're hacking on a dart and fucking coughing and dying. And I'm sitting there blowing clouds and I can still breathe. It's awesome. Uh, Edward Manuz says, what happened to the Dominican Republic Punta Cana Majestic? I don't know what you're talking about. The videos are still up, but I don't know what happened to the Dominican. Sorry, bud. I live in Canada. And yeah, people, that's all we got for this episode of Commenting on Comments. Big time thanks for watching. Leave a comment, because it could be featured in another episode of Commenting on Comments. You never knew. And until next time, people, peace your freak out!